Hello, my name is Samuel Bates, and this is XP 3001 Bullock Assault. So, and this is the first week development, and I'm going to show you what I got up to. Okay, so the first thing of note is that the cursor is now visible, and it also, not only can it be moved with the mouse, it can also be moved with the controller. If you can see in the top left, that's sort of the debugging uh, on the position of the uh, controller on the screen. I also had it when you typically when you start play, uh, it would start at the center of the screen as well. Because before it used to start up at the top. Um, I also added a little buffer so you can't actually go off the screen anymore. Because before you could, uh, especially with the controller. The next thing is that you can actually fire a gun. And if you might have noticed, if I shoot in the same place, there's a small recoil. Now this recoil can be adjusted to add more or less, finally, but because you can't turn with the right stick or the mouse, you turn with the bumpers or Q and E. So if I'm here, you can see this is a, a right angle bend, press that and you turn. Now you might have noticed there's a, you can turn either way, and you might have noticed there's a little uh, kind of, you basically you turn 40 degrees and then you turn it and then there's a slight delay then you turn another 40 degrees. Uh, this is a temporary fix. I tried to do something with a timeline. Um, that didn't work initially, but I'm going to go back later, I think, uh, and uh, crack on with it. But I think I just need a bit more development on that timeline idea. Uh, the reason why I did 40 degrees is because after a lot of feedback, uh, basically when you turn 90 degrees, it is very jarring and you can't really tell where you're going. Because at least with 40, you can kind of guess where you're going. Uh, I'll show you what uh, the 90 degree uh, looks like. So if you can see, this is my code here. So if I plug in um, the 90 degree one, I'll save it and play. Uh, I can show you it's a bit harder and there's not really much spatial awareness. I can kind of guess there, but when you turn like that, it's very tricky to kind of realize where on earth you are. Um, so that hence why I did it this way. Now let's move on to the blueprints. Uh, this is how I did it. So basically instead of using an axis, I used an action. And I have a do once as well, because what you could do is when I did this 40 degree thing is that you could constantly just spam it and then it would constantly, uh, then, you might, then you get stuck at, um, at like a 45 degree angle. This is how I shot the gun. Uh, so it's quite simple. You, can, you convert in the mouse location to world space. And that's where you get the location. And to do the recoil, it goes into this little recoil function. You just have a, a recoil, which is a local variable. And for the maximum, it's just a recoil number. And then the minimum is just a recoil number times by negative one. And then you just add them all together. And the final thing to note is this is for when you're trying to use the cursor. So this shows like the cursor is active. And then this is sets the mouse position. Uh, this isn't a perfect solution. Basically, just has to do the center because I had an issue, especially when I worked on this code, uh, that when you would have uh, the full screen, it went a bit janky. Uh, this is very similar to like how the turning works in the normal game. We have this right stick thing, uh, but this gets added to the mouse position, and then you truncate it. And what well, this section does, clamp for the screen. You can't do it with the mouse, but you can do it with the controller. Is that you can go off the screen, and so this gets the screen position. It looks very messy, but you get you get like the screen resolution. And then you subtract the screen clamp, which added 20 from the screen position, and then you basically whack it into the max or the minimum. And so the screen clamp is over the minimum, always the minimum, and then the map, and then basically you get the screen resolution minus the screen clamp, and you get the maximum value that it can be, whilst then the regular input values from the truncate. And then it goes into set the map position. Um, I also had it so you set the, I can set the max walk speed here. You could do it in. Uh, in the character movement, but I just found it a bit easier to do it here. So thank you so much for uh, for watching, and yeah, goodbye.